That's like a, a static picture of the weather radar. Is that right? Okay. All right. Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. Um, I gotta believe if it's something that's available in in the charter television world that it's you guys had it before, right? Okay. I think so, Tom, I think on the um, prior to switch, I think it was those eight point three and eight and thirteen point three. Is that okay? Is that right? Those are the weather local weather channels, and that's been a so that's been one of the things that we've been asked a lot. For. I would I would put that in the category of changes to the channel lineup. Okay, that's one we want to make sure that if we can get it on your lineup, we want to get it on your lineup. That's not correct. Nope. Nope. I mean, there are hardware capacity limitations with this solution. Nope. Nope. Contract was just renewed. Can you repeat the question, please? We can't hear what you're saying. You asked me, he asked me two questions, right? One was, was the contract? Yeah, I know we voted two years. Yes. Okay. That contract was how long? The pre I thought the previous contract was 60 months as well. Yeah, that was five years as well. And this is, a re this is a, another five-year contract. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, but this board took the TV out two years ago. Is that not right? No, uh, not sure. I wasn't here. Uh, but the contract that I had with, uh, with in, in the desk, in Max's file, the contract was five years ago. And it, it ran out last, when did we start talking to him? In August, well, last August? <clears throat> I think it ran out in yeah, November. Yeah. Well, the members be able to vote the next time the contract comes out, where we want to the contract? I doubt it. Uh, the, I, I, I can't say for sure unless the board tells me that they have to vote, but typically uh, those negotiations are operational. So. I just need to talk to my board member. Pardon me? I just need to confirm that with my, talk to my board member. Is that correct? I would talk to the board members if you want something different than that, yes. Okay, I have a question back here. Sure. So I will say that I, some of those issues may be related to some of the outages, right? But if you have that repeatedly happening at individual locations, yes. it's got to be a cabling issue. It's, it's got to be something that our, our technicians need to come out and look at the signal levels on those individual television outlets. It was not due to this past storm. It's, okay. This has been going on. So that's, that's something, and I, and I do know that, you know, as yeah. far as how you guys report those kinds of issues and get somebody dispatched to, to deal with them. Um, that's probably something that, that I know we've talked about as needing improvement, right? As far as how where you lodge those issues and what the expectation should be on your end as a customer. I called the office. They said you guys were working on the table. How many days do you guys have to keep working on the table? Um, I don't know. That sounds that sounds like a quick answer. Yeah. If you, I will tell you that if you repeated, you should you should not get nothing, right? And if you repeatedly have issues at an individual location, right? If there is a TV that has poor picture, has snowy picture, has bad audio. You guys are working on it. So what do we get? Uh, again, I think that, that that is an area where we need to look at making improvements and setting expectations for you guys. All right, so I'm sure you guys should give us a discount because we're not going to have a cable channel. They should be that probably not next year, so why should we have to pay for something we're not getting? So, uh, I, Tommy, you can go grab the water for a second. I'll, okay. I'll take some water. Fair enough. So uh, some of you guys are leaving before we even get to the fun stuff, but uh, that's all right. Uh, okay, I you know you could have DVR'd your show. That was a joke. Um, who wants to talk about internet? Wireless internet. How awesome it is? Anybody? Awesome. 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 So. Uh, 
technology's broken, right? That was that was my whole thing with ta talking about the fiber and not getting here. Uh, we we had a lot of promises from uh, Charter, and they lied to us all the way through about when they were going to get that fiber line done. But uh, that was that's an easy way to take it off of my plate and put it on his plate. Uh, we do manage the wireless network, uh, so I do get to see all of your gentle comments that you guys send me. Uh, thanks, and I love you, and you know, we we'll stop by and we'll have a sandwich or something like that. Yeah. What's that? Um, so, um, the, 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 right now, the, the way that the system was designed was to run off of cable charter modems. Sound like everything else I just told you guys about as far as running security across it, as far as running our card swiping across it, as far as running our public Wi-Fi or our free Wi-Fi across it. It's 20 by 2, 20 megs down, 2 megs up. You guys do the math when you have 180 people trying to get on that bike. Wasn't big enough. Wasn't big enough. We, uh, we, we definitely had the plan and the intention of actually putting the 6010 modems in, the new modems, the, the super fast ones that you guys have. Uh, we ran out of modems uh, before we had the opportunity to put them in. And then, so we, we set it up for the second round to, to just run the wireless for you, you know, as, as a service. Um, to run it uh, off the 6010 modems. Second batch came and went before we, we even had a chance uh, to deploy. So um, that, that brought us mostly through the season. Uh, so we, uh, we outstripped our capacity by far. So the, the, the choice uh, or the conversation has been coming around, are we going to continue to have a Sandy Pines wireless offering? And I don't know. Um, from 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 my angle, it's it's going to take a lot of money, and uh, I can't. I've been trying to get other companies in here uh, to run that for us, and uh, the cost uh, would be more expensive to you than putting a charter modem in your place. We're still trying. We're planning on uh, repositioning. Um, I'll, I'll get to your questions in a second, because I got a lot to say. Um, we, uh, we, I took uh, the entire map of Sandy Pines, and uh, we put a uh, color map of every single wireless subscriber, the Sandy Pines seasonal wireless subscriber. We did a color map, and then we zoomed out of the color map, sort of like Verizon does, you know, and they cover the game in the back, right? So we could actually start seeing where the pockets of people were. There is a pretty good chance and I won't say 100%, but there's a pretty good chance that wireless could or could not be offered in that area anymore. We are going to be sending surveys out if wireless is important to people, if they want it, if that's something that we want to continue on servicing. Um, but as I'm looking at those maps, my plan is to remove cable modems and access points from servicing one person over here to moving it over and servicing eight people over here. Plain and simple, that's the logistics of it. And that, that's kind of how we're looking at it. Um, there is not a excitement uh, from Sandy Pines in spending more money inside the Wi-Fi system. It's broken and it's not gonna get fixed without money. I can't do it. It, it, it's, it's physically, the equipment is five years old. It has gone through multiple Michigan winters. It has never been taken down. Uh, it does not support any of the new protocols out there for your iPads and your iPhones and five gigahertz spectrum techie stuff. It doesn't support any of that. The, the system was built based upon what's called mesh, which means that two access points talk to each other, that there's no uh, each one of them doesn't go out to the internet. They actually run to the other AP, tell them what they want to say, that AP runs to another AP, and then finally gets to go out to the internet. It's a latency, it's a speed. There's just, there, there, there's a great demand for it. There's just not enough money in it to make it feasible. So we have to start figuring out, is that an offering we want to do? Uh, again, we're, we're looking at companies to come in here to better serve your questions. Um, a, a lot of the problem is support technicians. 
I know, this, it's a good business to get into. IT is an awesome business. Because support technicians charge between $65 an hour and four and $500 an hour. So you just think about how many questions on the back side you guys have on uh, why can't I connect or how come I can't connect and it's a simple password issue. Well that could have taken 45 minutes at 65 bucks an hour. All of a sudden it becomes less and less and less feasible. So, John, I uh, have a gentleman over here uh, that said, why did, why did the Wi-Fi, uh, why was that signal degraded after we switched over to Charter, or, was, or is that a coincidence? Which one? The, the, the seasonal the public? The seasonal, uh, free the, the seasonal public, yes. Okay. And, and, the, the, and, the, and the, uh, the access to it uh, used to be on the beach, now you have to be out by the adult rack building to get in. Uh, it, it, it actually should be back on the beach now. Uh, the access point that's on top of uh, the indoor pool was hit by lightning. I got a really cool picture of me replacing it. It's awesome, right? You know, you're 45 feet up hanging over the side. Repeat that, repeat that again. Why that? Why the, 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 the access point that's uh, on the, the very top peak, it's the, at, the pinnacle point of that is uh, an access point. It, w it was struck directly by lightning and fried it. So, I had to get a boom lift. I don't know if any of you guys saw me. In, when, in, when did that happen, John? I, I'd have to go back and look. It, it's been a little while yet. Okay. It, should, it shouldn't have any problems right now. With, with, hang on, I, I will caveat that, though. The, um, the indoor pool had, um, um, how do I put this? It had, it had a DOS tag, a denial service. There was somebody in the network, uh, in the computers, over at the indoor pool was doing something naughty. And it ended up shutting down, and I don't know if any of you guys were at the indoor pool this year and couldn't get on the Wi-Fi. Yeah. Public, seasonal, the free stuff, the lounge stuff, nothing worked, right? So we, we, we did end up finding that and uh, fixing that uh, problem. So that, that should be pretty well set. I will tell you guys this. There, there is a little secret that I'm gonna let you guys in on. That's on the internet now. That I just thought about that. Uh, the, I did. Um, we interconnected a lot of buildings at Sandy Pines. I don't know if you guys have seen these beautiful little white domes that stick up. Uh, there's one on top of the admin building. There's like three right here in this corner. There's one on the pavilion. There's one on the retail center. You guys gotta look up. Stop looking at your phones. It's all there. Anyways, um, we we put in some point to points. And one of our jobs was to start interconnecting all the facilities at Sandy Pines. So we could start having meetings here, go to meeting. Uh, we could do other meetings. We could go to the public and bring in public meetings in this space that would have internet, right? So business meetings, ventures, things to, to raise capital. Um, so anyways, there, there's quite a few wireless access points this weekend. Is less, unless it rains tomorrow, because I won't be out here for training and putting stuff up in a, in a boom lift, but um, that uh, we are now hooked into Charter's 250 meg uh, fiber pipe that nobody else is using right now. So, super fast internet this weekend only. Maybe. I don't know, I'm not at the beach right now. No, I'm telling you, you can't. Okay. I'm telling you, you can't sit in front of that, sit in front of the voting uh, level like you used to, where you don't want to go in that game and listen to all those people make all that noise, watching TV and playing ping pong and all that. You can sit out there, you connect the internet, and you can see you go, it's outside. You can't do that. You haven't been able to do that. What, what service are you connecting to over there? The, the seasonal. Se oh, I'm sorry, it's the, 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 the free hotspot. Yeah, that's... Whatever the name is. That's, uh, I, 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 I'll take that right off my shoulders and throw it on somebody else's. I have nothing to do with those public hotspots. You said you're the one that actually services the point on top of that building over there. I service the seasonal, Sandy Pine seasonal, and the public Wi-Fi. Anything else that has a hotspot, the library, admin building. John, uh, Steve may have, uh, because of the, the issue that you just mentioned a while ago, somebody messing around inside the system. 
Steve may have disconnected that whole Wi-Fi over there at the building. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, well, he, they found the solution by disconnecting. Probably. I, I'll find out. I can find out for you from Steve. But I, that could be disconnected. Have you, have you tried getting getting on it inside the building? Yeah. So it, you're saying it is there then? I'm saying there's a signal inside the building where it used to be Yeah. And we may have we may have uh, brought in that signal too, if that's possible. So what but um, that's a gen that's a Steve question. Just speak up, please. Okay, I'll speak up. My point is the equipment, the 
the Wi Fi and the cheap Wi Fi that we've been getting for the last five years. But it hasn't changed, he said. The equipment hasn't changed. You. And the uh, equipment, if it doesn't fail, is going to work exactly as it did before unless someone goes in there and messes with it. So it should be working just as it always did, but it's not. It stopped working about the, the time that this upgrade went in. And my question is, is the connection between the equipment we have to the internet been degraded intentionally so we'll buy the charter? charter? I don't know if it is or not. I'm just asking. Because if that equipment didn't change, if we didn't change it, it didn't break, it should work exactly as it did the other years, and yet it's not. It's the same number of people coming in and out, and I understand the holidays are a problem, but, but right now it shouldn't be a problem, but it is. So, what you know, I, I'm still confused of what changed. Do you, do you have wireless this season? Okay. This is the third year. On, uh, this is the yeah. third year. So, um, do, I'd be happy to have a technical discussion with you afterwards, but uh, what you're the one that's being vocal about, obviously, you want to know. So, 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 the protocols of 802.11b and g are what the system runs on, okay? It's currently running mesh, which means that every time that you have an access point in line of it, it loses half its throughput. Is it always been Yes. Okay. So, you have to You're right. I, I did it. I'm, I'm, I apologize. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. It's been through five Michigan winners. Uh, the, the protocols, the new devices that come on the network are more demanding. Five gigahertz spectrum, 40 meg channels suck bandwidth a whole lot faster than a, a, a five-year-old laptop. iPads constantly take. Multicast devices constantly take. Roku's, Apple TVs. I mean, they're, they're just more bandwidth intensive. That's the nature of our beast. Go ahead, yeah. When I had my home and I had problems with charter, I would call up and say I was without service for four days, five days, whatever. They would reimburse me. I think because we've had so many problems, we all should be reimbursed because nothing's working yet. So everybody knows I don't make any money off the wireless system. Or TV or anything like that. I, I'm simply a, a, I chair the tech committee, so I'm 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 yeah I know right. That's I'm hitting myself even a lot of times, but um, so that that just know that the comments that I make are not driven towards hey you know there's money there. I don't want I don't want anybody to think of that. Go ahead. I you've, I've watched it for too long. Well, I want to make a positive. When they switch to fiber optic, everything. I have phone, I have internet, and I have cable. All of them went out. Nothing at my house worked. I had no phone, nothing. I called the 800 number and explained my situation to them. Two trucks came the next day, and everything was repaired and fixed, and I said, thank you. Now, I don't have the, I have my own internet that I had hooked up this, uh, at the beginning of the season, which I will not have next year, I understand that. But they told me the two things were not related, but they fixed both, everything. So, I thank Charter. Thank you, thank you for putting that positive. And actually, I'll throw it out to you, uh, even though Andy took his sweet time in getting out here and putting modems in, every single site that I visited that got a charter modem, those charter people made sure you guys were up and running, that your wireless router was configured. They went above and beyond. They did. It took them forever, but they went above and beyond. Uh, hey, Gene. Gene would probably know. How many charter modems did we sign up? 190, 188. 188. Yeah. By the way, this, this young lady over here says she lives right next to Lynn, has trouble all the time. So we'll go from a positive to a you know, not so positive. 
And I'm not sure what the difference is, but she said it's right next door. Does anybody want to yell at Tom for a while? All right. As you look at the lineup that we have, our channels 23.1 through about 27, when you put them in, it comes up in valid. But if you go to 7.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and scroll through, eventually you'll find the channel you're looking for. Is that going to stay that way, or is that, or is that just kind of a place to park while they're fixing something? Is that the same for everybody? Because I, what I yeah. heard from, is that, okay. Because I heard from some other customers that they have those kinds of issues on certain televisions and not with others. The, the, crib, the crib lineup? Yeah. At least one I got, I don't know if there's a newer one or whatever. It's not right. It's not accurate? Yeah, I mean, some of it is, but there's uh, like, I don't know, eight or nine channels that are not where they're supposed to be. And okay. Something else. And do we know, did that, did that change at some point? Was it accurate and then it became not accurate? It changed. It changed. Your lineup should be dated. The 24th of July was the latest update. That the first one that came out was not accurate. There is the way one, one yes. 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 I stand correct. Well, and that doesn't, you know, I, I would check that one, right? I mean, so. Bottom line on the lineups is we should never change lineups and not have you guys be fully aware. No, I know. Right? And we have. Not just you guys, but lots of other customers. We've changed lineups. And a lot of times it's we make a change on our system that they don't think is going to impact customers like you guys, and it does. Right? So one of my pushbacks to our video people is if we're going to make a change to your lineup, you should know about it in advance, and you should have an accurate channel on it before that change happens. Right? And if we, if we get to the point where you guys have a channel lineup channel, you guys would then be able to update that ahead of the, or as the change takes place. Tom, uh, someone, I heard someone, I think, Ralph and I were kind of talking, but uh, saying that their channels aren't accurate. Is that what I heard? Yeah, that's what we're talking about. And, and he was saying that, I'm curious, uh, or we're curious, to know if those TVs were the older technology TV that had an external quantum tuner on it, because they've had some issues with that, where they had to scan it a couple of times before it lined up perfectly. It, it may not be his problem, but. No, it was an update TV, but I understand that the channel lineup, from what I had, has changed and is correct now, but it was an update. Right. That's, that seems like something that should be sent out Maybe in footprints or something. Yeah, we, we, uh, we, we had, uh, when I say channel update, that means, what I, I guess what I'm saying is uh, that when you have, a, if, if you had an external bomb tuner, in your case you don't have, so you would you'd re scan, set up your TV uh, as you're setting it up for the first time, and, and, uh, and I'm hearing that that straightens out some of that. Uh, if, you, if you have a, if you have a, Gee, what I'm saying is the uh, printed lineup that oh, I have, yeah. that I have yeah. to sit and look at and yeah. try to figure out yeah. that was that actually that that lineup there were three channels that were incorrect and that was changed the day uh, prior to uh, the switchover it, was, it would have been June 21. So what we did is we went we went around to where all the distribution of those flyers was and uh, and pulled them at three o'clock in the afternoon. And switched them out. So if you got one before three o'clock in the afternoon on June 21, you got one of the old lineups. But yes, we'll we'll put out a new one. How's that? Well, better than that, we'll work on the new channel. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I, uh, Tom, I have a question for you right here. Sure. Okay. Uh, we've been, of course, with Charter for I don't know how long, and I always paid for the DVR and the internet, all this stuff. Okay. Well, we have the internet before. The new, you know, that yeah. within the park. Okay. Well, since they had to turn in the DVR, then I thought, okay, I'm going on my iPad. We're talking techie here, right? Yeah. And because Charter sent me an email that said you can download the Charter on the go, yeah. you can get the on demand, you can get all this. Okay. I have spent hours and hours and hours trying to get this to work. 
So I called Charter directly to Holland, yeah. where we turned the DVR into. She was able to bring it up. I'm on the phone. Sure. Uh, she was able to bring it up. Now, if I'm understanding correctly, Sandy Pines is now a commercial account, right? Commercial, not residential. Correct. Okay. Wouldn't Charter in Holland be commercial? Charter store in, in Holland, the counter yeah, right. is primarily a residential counter. They do they do offer some business services there, but okay. primarily those counters are, are for residential customers. Because she could bring up like TNT, because yeah. this I thought, okay, this yeah. is going to solve my problem. Because I cannot be in front of my TV when I want to watch my show exactly at 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock or whatever. I always DVR, you know, everything. Yeah. Yeah. No commercials, nothing. Okay, so I thought if I could get it on my iPad yeah. or iPod, so you know everybody's sure. not everybody's got it, but you want to get. So it's because there, it's commercial, so she said the, I can't do it. The Charter TV app is what it's called, right? And it is a way that you can you download the app and then you can watch TV and you can you can do all sorts of stuff through that app, right? It is today a residential product. However, we are testing that product in university environments just like this, just the way it's set up here, right? Pardon me? We're not a university. Do we look like a college kid? I, I, I didn't say you were a university. That's not what I said. Correct. So I do believe that that is an improvement that you guys will see inside of 12 months. That's that's my belief. Yep. There's, there's, that, that, is, that is absolutely a solution that will help with you can yeah well it depends if you subscribe to those things right so it does right so but then there are individual apps for HBO and Showtime and you know, those kinds of things um, so but like I said I think that the fiber optics that you guys have installed is something that's really going to help with the ability to do things just like that. The, the make, you know, have the app be available to you and have it work over the network. So when this does become available, yeah. we will be notified? Absolutely. Okay, either Charter will send them. Absolutely. See, I keep getting emails from Charter, and I'm not a residential reader. And it's confusing, it's for sure. I mean, it, it seems like so it's available for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. Hang on, hang on. I agree. Put on a mic. Yeah, I got a question for the people that are living in the condos, okay. like we are. Yeah. Um, the speed, we were told that the park was going to be a lot faster than what we had uh, living in the condos because okay. we were not really looked at the same way. We we're not in the same system. Okay. But now with this whole collapse of it, and reformulation, uh, are we going to get a faster internet? What? Because, you know, when you, we, what we did before, we had to pick up what we did at Charter yeah. in our condo, and we had a bundle. Sure. And uh, so I'm just trying to find out where. So if we're talking about a, a, the same 16 by 